Well, Josh, it's another season and you are staying an MK Dons player. I haven't had an opportunity to talk to you, obviously, since the announcement that you've signed a new contract. Just your emotions, your feelings surrounding that new contract, well, a contract extension, I guess. Yeah, no, I'm delighted to be here. I'm delighted to join um, right at the start of pre-season. I think that's massive for me to get a pre-season under my belt because obviously I missed it last season due to COVID. Um, but yeah, like I said in the previous interview, it was a no-brainer to come back um, under the management here, the lads, what we done last season. And yeah, like all others, we just want to go that one step further, but I'm delighted to be back. Mentally, let's let's be honest, it wasn't the best end to the season for the side because promotion wasn't achieved and I'd imagine you mulled over your head um, everything that happened at Adams Park. I suppose you've got to put that to one side now, haven't you? It's a new season, but did that take a little bit of time just to kind of get, get over the disappointment, the, the personal disappointment and the team's disappointment of not making it to the playoff final? Yeah, of course. Um, losing in the playoff semi-final and personally getting sent off in the first leg, I was absolutely devastated. But like you said, you've got to put that to the side. And yeah, we um, we was all absolutely gutted. But if you look back on our season and the strides we made, kind of um, finishing 13th and then to finish third, we done really well I thought overall so we've got to look at the positives as well and take that into um, consideration so overall I think it was definitely a, a positive season. And uh, I guess unfinished business now for the, for the side really because although players have moved on and we'll talk about that in a moment there must be a feeling with the additions that have come into the side as well you must you must be feeling quite positive looking ahead to this season. Yeah, definitely the new lads have, have come in they all look good I'm sure we're going to add a few more um, to, as the weeks go on, as pre-season goes on, we'll we'll definitely add a few more. Um, but no, it's all all looking good at the moment. So yeah, I'm really excited for the season now. From a player's perspective, Josh, to lose two players like um, Harry Darling and Scott Twine, big players, you can't. Nobody can deny they're big players. Um, you know that's why they've got their moves and moved on and been, you know, hopefully going to be successful. Does it take just a moment of, of, of readjustment for you and the rest of the team uh, just to lose two kind of key players like that? Yeah, well, I've only this is my second season there, so but I've seen it happen last season when we when we've lost big players and stuff, and Liam Sweeting and all the staff around him do a fantastic job of quickly um, getting new players in, and we just keep going and keep pushing on. Keep we can't look back. Obviously, we're gonna. Miss Twiney, Miss Harry, they're on and off the pitch. They're great lads, unbelievable players, great talents. Um, but I wish them all the best. But yeah, we can't look backwards. We just have got to move on now. We've got new lads in, and they, like I said, they look good. So we just got to look forward. And how's training going? How are you feeling physically, um, mentally? Is, it, is everything okay uh, during the, you know this first part of training? Yeah, good. Obviously, we come back last week. Um, last week, um, it was kind of like getting up to speed of things, um, getting the balls out, obviously a few runs and stuff. I think we're in Ireland now, um, just outside Dublin. So I think this the next two weeks will be the tough weeks where we put the hard graft in and then, then the game the games come thick and fast, really, with pre-season friendlies. Um, but no, it's good. We're, we're all looking forward to it. Everyone's come back in good shape. So, yeah. And just, just, just finally, for me, um, I know obviously speaking to you last season, and uh, obviously speaking to to Liam as well. There's not a huge amount given away, but are, are there targets set for this season? Do you do you start the season and say, well, yeah, we want to be promoted. That's as simple as that. Whatever happens, we want to be promoted. Well, yeah, I think of like losing in the semi final. Um, it was a big learning curve for everyone, so we just need to take that experience, um, how gutted we were after that game, going into this season really, and obviously getting so close, obviously everyone will want to be promoted, that's everyone's aim, anyone around it who doesn't say that, I, yeah, I don't think they're telling the truth really, so I think, yeah, that's definitely our aim this season. Appreciate your time, thanks very much. Thank you. You mentioned it earlier in the interview, it's the, your first pre-season. I think it's your first pre-season that you've been fit for in a little while. But how, how much does a pre-season campaign mean for a player? And, and you know, when you head into the onto the pitch in the, for the first game, how important is it to have a, a, a full pre-season campaign behind you? Yeah, it's massive. It sets you up for the season, really. Instead of um, missing pre-season and playing catch-up week by week, you get a good solid six weeks in in your legs and your body. 
Um, so yeah, I think it's massive. Um, yeah, personally for me, I think this preseason will be massive. I've come back in in good shape, so I just want to get as fit as I can leading into that first game against Cambridge. I suppose not just for for fitness purposes, but also for for bedding into the squad as well. I mean, I know you've been a part of it for for a little while now, but for the new lads coming in, it's it's all it's all bonding and it's all getting to know each other and living in each, in each other's pockets for a week. You know, it's 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 an important time for the whole team, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Um, that's what pre-season is for, really, for the new lads to settle in as quickly as possible, really. And like you said, we're away for a week now with each other 24 hours a day. So, no, that would be good good for everyone to get to know each other on and off the pitch. So, it's all looking good so far. It feels like the, the, the friendlies are coming, you know, almost immediately after you guys have come back into um, into training. How much, you know, excitement do you have for, for those games? Because... You know, it's easy to look at them and think, oh, they're just sort of throwaway training sessions. But, you know, it's, that's that's the bread and butter of the game, isn't it? You want to be playing games. Yeah, of course. Like, every week you're excited for the Saturday or the Tuesday game. Um, you can do so much in training, but you get your real, real fitness in games. Like, there's there's nothing like it. And, yeah, you do miss it. You go away in the summer, have a nice nice couple of weeks with your family or whatever. But, yeah, I personally, I couldn't wait to get back to play football again. What? what I love doing um, and the games yeah we've got Russian and Diamonds on, on Tuesday and yeah I'm excited for that one and the new lads they, they all seem to be bedding in well do they? yeah good we've got three or four um, come in they seem yeah they seem really good good lads um, in training they look sharp off the pitch they're joining in getting involved with everything so no it's looking good